Hello and welcome folks to a limited video. Yes, as you can see, we're waiting for some drafters to join the queue, but we're gonna be playing some Double Masters 2022. I've been having a blast drafting this set. It's been a ton, ton of fun. It's basically everything that Nuka Pena wishes it had been. And because I've been having such a good time, I wanted to at least make one video on this. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy it as well. It's been very, very interesting to see all the different archetypes come together and how there's it's a very much multicolor set. Also, it's almost like streaming amulets because there's uh, bounce lands in the set, right? So basically the same thing. So we're gonna be drafting a little uh, M M double master, sorry, uh, and we hopefully will have some sweet deck to, to talk about. If you're enjoying this content, please let me know in the comments because I rarely do limited content. I mostly do it for myself, but if other people out there are enjoying it, I really, really want to hear from you because, well, it makes me more excited about making it. Uh, so hopefully you'll see more. Uh, but yeah, if you want to find some more information about the stream, about how to support it, you can find everything in the description of the video down below. And yes, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. Uh, one interesting thing about this specific format is that on the very first pick of every single pack, we're gonna first pick two cards at the same time. Uh, that really changes the, the dynamic because we're also gonna have access to two rares per pack. So that means that you can really get going from uh, pick number one. Like for example, uh, when I open this pack, like if I wanted to go the sacrifice or like mar the sacrifice or whatever uh, avenue, I could just like first pick call to the feast like times two, for example, if I thought that was a good card. Uh, I think right now I'm gonna go with Consecrated Sphinx and Simic Growth Chamber. Uh, this feels like the most powerful card in the pack. It's also, uh, it just works really, really well with Simic Growth Chamber because the blue green is the color, uh, the, the archetype for blue green is the ramp archetype. So there's like a rampant growth, you know, even cards like Bounty of the Luxa. So this actually works really, really well. Uh, also, bounce lands are very, very powerful in limited. If you have never played limited with bounce lands before, um, they are basically lands that are card advantage. So you want to prioritize them pretty highly. Um, besides these two cards, the cards that I'm looking at are Bounty of Luxa. This one is fairly strong in the, you know, three, four, five color archetype. I think that this a Goblin Banneret is very solid in uh, red, white, and uh, red, blue. Those archetypes specifically, uh, the, those are the, the two main aggro decks. And then we have like Black Red. This card is fairly medium though. Uh, Cartel Aristocrat is very good in the Sacrifice deck though. This figure is a fantastic removal spell. We're gonna go with uh, Sphinx and the Bounce Land though. Pick number two. Well, here Calling Oracle is kind of perfect for what we're trying to do. Uh, Isid Boiler Works would be another, another very interesting one. It's a blue Bounce Land, which as I just said, it's very, very strong. It can help us kind of solidify ourselves into Teamer. But uh, by picking Colin Oracle, like I kind of want to be blue and green because I have like my first two picks kind of go towards blue and green very directly. And Colin Oracle is just perfect in there. And once we, we solidify ourselves in blue and green, we can potentially splash a different color. Uh, splash a different color. So we can splash either red if we think that that would be fitting if we see that red is open or what's better probably is going to be white. White uh, has a ton of ETB effects and blink effects. We have momentary blink in the format as well, which is a lot of fun. That archetype has been very powerful. I drafted it a couple of times and I basically did like six or seven drafts and I went two on one on the first six drafts. <laughs> Every single draft has been a two on one. And then I finally got a trophy on the last one. So yeah, we're gonna go with Coiling Oracle, Coiling Oracle there. Uh, what do we got here? Maybe the Lich? So the, there's the cycle of legions that's uh, going on in this format. It's this is probably one of the worst, <laughs> so that kind of sucks. But I guess it does turn our Coraline Oracle into a three-three, which is nothing to scoff at. So I guess I'm probably gonna be picking it also again, like super solidly into uh, green and blue. And uh, there's also Cryptic Spires. This line is super interesting. So. It basically is a dual land that enters tapped for any color that you choose. And you can you can figure this out during deck building. Like it's, uh, as soon as we finish the draft, it's gonna ask us to to kind of choose the colors, but uh, then you, you can change the colors after, uh, afterwards again while you're actually building the deck, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, if the Liege weren't in the pack, I'd probably go for, yeesh. 
like this Kaplan giant, I guess. Maybe either Mage's Touch. I, I have not been impressed by either either Mage's Touch, personally. Okay, so here we have Body Double. This card is obviously better when you're milling, but the fact that you can copy your opponent's stuff has meant that Body Double is fairly decent. Like I I've I've not been impressed by the card, but usually this sort of effect is kind of medium, and it's been like pretty good. Um, Forbidden Alchemy is also very interesting. Um, it's a way to, you know, uh, get some card advantage and uh, enable our graveyard. Like, we could go towards Bug here, Sultai. Um, there's also the Rhino, which one of you target it, you draw a card. This is more for the green-white archetype. Um, Sky Knight is also interesting, but we're not, like, I don't think I'm looking for a 3-drop white creature. Like, I, I think I'm going to be blue-green. I think I'm just going to take the body double here. I think I'm going to be blue-green splashing for something else. So now that we're here, uh, is it Charm seems medium. Disfigure is a pretty solid removal spell. Um, there, it, this kills a bunch of creatures in the format. We could also take, uh, this is... Uh, important way of fixing uh this card sucks this card is not very good either god's willing is fine like god's willing is a fine card because we can use it to protect our uh, you know our bomb here um this pack is weird like i could also like take this scab as a, just a random three drop but i don't think it's gonna be particularly good in our deck I think I'm going to go with the disfigure seems like the card with the highest up potential upside i don't know if i'm going to be bugged just yet but at least this sets me up nicely if I am. Um, here, I think we're just going to take the removal spell, Capture Sphere. I think I'd rather have this instead of the second Body Double. Even Initiate has been kind of medium. Like, I haven't been impressed by this card. This uh, is for the Graveyard deck, and it's not even that good in the Graveyard deck. Um, Grapple with the Past is potentially uh, an interesting card as well, particularly if we end up in the Spider Spawning deck, which is an archetype that's a, a lot of fun. Uh, but we, again, we don't know if we're going to be Bug, we don't know if we're going to be uh, Banned, so I'm just going to go, I'm just going to just keep taking blue and green cards until I find something that really uh, pushes me into a different direction. Fire Fall is an interesting one. Um... I could also just take Arachnos Web. Like, this is an interesting removal spell because there's an uncommon in the format that's called Ar Ar Arachnos Spinner, and it basically fetches it. Um, so, like, you fetch it either from your graveyard or for, from your deck, and you put it onto your opponent's creature. So, that has been very strong. Um, so, I could, like, take this and sort of hedge in that direction. Again, I could go Teamer, but... I think I'm going to go with the Arachnus Web. Um, hmm, what do we got here? Another 5-drop? I think at this point I'm just going to take Traveler's Amulet. Helps me splash more, consistency, uh, more consistently, helps me hit my land drops. Uh, this is not the worst card, but like I don't think I'm missing you know, on, on the 5-drop department. So I'm going to take this chance to help again all, all of this is like some some picks that i'm being like a little bit uh, setting myself up myself up to do something better later on uh now that we get this for free basically because we're not going to be playing any of these cards i'm gonna i'm gonna pick it but hopefully i don't have to play it in the main deck <laughs> and another one and another one um so this card is interesting but i don't think that we are in the counters archetype um, the counters archetype is green-white mostly, and we don't really have any creatures that we can get value from, so I think I'm going to go with God's Willing here. Um, again, I may end up in Band, and if I do, I kind of want to protect my bombs, uh, but it's not clear that's going to be the case. Uh, another card for the for the uh, the tokens archetype. Uh, maybe we wield the Rhino. If we wield the Rhino, I may be interested in doing this, just like Band's tokens. Hey, there we go. Okay. Okay. Um, going to put the disfigure over here because I'm not sure that this is the route that we want to take, but this at least it looks promising. Um, I'm going to take this cab just as a 3-drop. Hopefully, I don't have to play it. Wow. So, I guess nobody's drafting red-white. 
because this card is like absolutely premium in the red white deck. Um, so let's pull those cards in there. Uh, I don't dislike where I'm at right now. We're very solidly blue and green. And we could be doing some tokens thing or maybe not. Like it's still unclear. But the Rhino works well with... If, if we find Arachnus Spinner, I guess... Oh no, this only triggers of casting spells. Oh, feels bad, man. Um, all right, Venser looks great. And Conclave Mentor kind of works for what we're trying to do. Rejuvenator is fantastic, though. So we can go just like Venser plus Rejuvenator. I think I'm more solidly on the on the big mana side of things than I am on the counter side of things. Maybe we wield these even. We'll see. A Deadly Recluse is also not a bad to drop. Like it's just something that you play early and it just roadblocks your opponent. But Rejuvenator is fantastic for what we're trying to do. It helps us ramp. And then just Venser is a really, really good card. So I think I'm pretty happy with this pick. Hoping to wheel Last Breath or maybe the Mentor or maybe Deadly Recluse. Maybe Gifts and Given. I may play Gifts and Given. Probably not. But um, yeah, this Venser is, is just awesome. Like this, this card is just so, so great for us. Okay. Whoo, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's probably worth slashing for. Um, yeah. So the, as we stand right now, I'd much rather bring in the Disfigure and play the Silumgar than I would play the Rhino Scale Blessing and God's Willing. So... Yeah, we're gonna probably bring back the, the this figure to the deck. But Dragon of Sindelgar is obviously fantastic. Also back double mythics again. Um what else do we want? I may play now I'm more interested in body doubles now that we're gonna have Silumgar, like maybe Silumgar dies and like just play body double couple it, copy it, get it back. Uh Del Reclus, as I just said, is fine. Settle Beyond Reality could be interesting. Uh but yeah, Dragon of Sindelgar is just huge there. Now, another Conclave Mentor. Agony Warp is probably going to be epic here. At this point, I'm just like very, very much erring towards the side of Sultai as opposed to Band. Uh, there is a Conclave Mentor here, though. There certainly is a Conclave Mentor. There's Momentary Blink as well. Momentary Blink works really well with our Oracle, with our uh, Rejuvenator, Venser, and like. Maybe with this, can control that creature as long as you control. If I blink Silumgar, do I lose control of the creature before? That's a good question. I wonder. Uh, I could just play. I, I could also play four colors. Um, you know, with momentary blink. But I think I'm gonna go for agony warp. If we wield a momentary blink, I'm I'm definitely gonna pick it and splash it though. But agony warp is a fine pick here. All of these, like, you know, early drops to prevent us from dying early are, are just fantastic for us. Another Agony Warp, Annoyed Altisaur. This card is very, very good. I've been very impressed by this card. Um, so this is just a fantastic top end. You can also play this and get, like, a, you know, any of our, like, big creatures for free. Um, this has been fantastic. Aether Snipe has also been very, very good. But I think I would prioritize an Altisaur before Aether Snipe. Um, another Agony Warp is not bad either, but yeah, so I would probably pick Altisaur, then Ether Snipe the Agony Warp, but Altisaur is just very good for us. What here? Um, I think this is a fine spot to pick Cryptic Spires. We're not really giving up too much. We can still wield Inquisition, that's a fine cyborg card if my opponent's playing something uh, worth Inquisitioning, uh, but uh, this seems like a good point for playing this. Uh, Nightly Valor is fine if we're trying to trigger these things, but we don't really have that many, so move that to the sideboard and get this land in here. We bring back this figure to the forefront. How about this pack? Uh, this card is pretty good. Good defensive card. Deep Analysis is very, very strong. Um, like, I probably would play the Winged Quaddle before playing Ingenious Cab. But deep analysis is just so good. 
Spell Pierce an okay cyborg card. Definitely not main deck in this. But I think I think we're just gonna go for deep analysis here. A little bit of card advantage. Uh, we do have some pretty solid top end here. Uh, but yeah, I think it's it's very likely that we get another wing quaddle um, a little bit down the line. In a you know, in a spot where we're not giving up an actively very good card that I'm excited to put in my deck as deep analysis. Okay, what do we have? Oof. Well, that's hot. This card is absolutely devastating. It's definitely double black. So this this is gonna ask a lot of my splash. It's extremely strong though. Skin render is extremely, extremely good. So I'm probably gonna pick it anyway and try to see if I can make the mana work somehow. Maybe seven, like, I'm just gonna have to like, you know, get Cryptic Sparks, but this is a very late skin render. Like this card is absolutely premium and nobody picked it up to here. So I have to assume that black is somewhat open. Uh, what do we got here? Um, nothing I'm super excited about. Could take the Shaman, but again, we're mostly blue, uh, blue green splash black. So I don't think I want black two drops that are not good in the late game. Thought Scour is okay. Jeskai Elder as an early drop. Man, nobody's drafting aggro in this table. We got super late red white cards before. Now we're getting Jeskai Elders and stuff. We don't really have that much value for Thought Scour. Probably still gonna pick it. Um, okay, sweet. So we did get Del Deadly Recluse. Like this, this is just a fine two drop for what we're trying to do here. Capture Sphere is definitely an, an option, 100%, uh, but I think the Reckless just works better with, with what we're trying to do, particularly with how our curve looks like. So I'm gonna take the two drop instead of the four drop. Another Deadly Recluse or Cryptic Spires? Well, with this skin render in my deck, I'm probably gonna go for Cryptic Spires here. Um, but I, I would definitely play two of these. Definitely not playing this one though. Oh, there we go, Spell Pierce. So this is a fine sideboard card. The range assistant is not great. The, the fact that it just taps for Carlos is not particularly exciting. Scab Clan Giant has been mediocre. Could also take Anger of the Gods for the sideboard, but like a double a double red splash card is probably not where I want to be. Eel Umbra is interesting because Eel Umbra can protect my like big boys. I'm probably gonna take the Recluse though and try to make sure that I don't die in the early game. Nightly Balor came back. Um, I'm just gonna take the black card or whatever. Another Spell Pierce, I'm probably not playing, so let's put the Tusk Guard card. Eh, maybe I will play this if I need to. Skeleton Archer is interesting. This is probably gonna be more of a cyborg card than a main deck card, but we'll see. Hey, there we go. Aragna Spider, very, very good for what we're trying to do. Man, we also got Supreme Verdict. Jeez. Supreme Verdict is very strong. We're definitely taking this Aragna Spinner. It goes alongside our Aragna's Web, and we're obviously going to prioritize the webs now. We only saw the single, the, the one, so. Ugh. Supreme Verdict is very strong. Very, very strong. We have not seen that many ramp cards go around we haven't seen another rejuvenator we have not seen abundant growth so hopefully we see we find some of those this uh, this time around we also did not see any uh, bounce land beside the one besides the one that i first picked and then the is it the, the the one that i was offered as a second pick um which i didn't take Could take drag mangler but the card's not very good like it's it's fine but definitely taking the spinner here Am I just taking cryptic spires? Ugh. That's not great. I mean, I need these. Like if I if I can find like four or five of these, I'm probably going to play them. But I'm not excited about like opening a pack in it's set as powerful in this one and just like picking this. My th Ugh, that's awful. This pack is not particularly good for us. Uh spinner is great, but we're basically going to waste our second pick. Should I just pick the verdict and just YOLO? Um, I mean, I kind of want to. We can probably get this back. I don't think Unearth is very good. Like, yeah, we can get back our, like, things, but we don't really have anything particularly good to get back. Mm, I'm not going to pick a Thought Scour here. I'd much rather have the land. I may just speculate on this. Because we do have... 
Because we can go Band, Splash Black for Silungar. There's also, I'm going to take the Verdict. There's a 4-drop artifact that fixes your mana. So I'm going to basically take it and put it over here on the side. I probably won't end up playing it, but I think that the upside is just so high that I, I'd rather just like take the risk there. This pack is terrible. <laughs> this pack is absolutely awful for us. Yikes. Well, this is the pack where we take a Cryptic Spires, I guess. I don't think there's any good combos with Crucible Wars. Like, a lot of the cards printed in this set are just not very good. Like, a lot of the rares and mythics are just chase uh, rares and mythics for, like, Constructed and Commander and stuff, and they're not actively good in the draft format. Like, Ren and Six, for example, is it's not a very good card in this format, unfortunately. Um, I guess I'm taking the Spires here. Very sad pack for us. Okay, now we are talking. Um, man, all the good stuff is is now here. <laughs> so Ambuscade is a fine removal spell. We have a lot of big dudes, so we're definitely going to to be able to to enable this. It also works really well with Deadly Recluse, Aether Snipe, fantastic six drop, Psychic Symbiont, also incredible six drop. Uh, we we have our top end kind of set up already, so I'm not as interested in these two. I'm more interested in Ambuscade, this Bounce Land, which by the way helps me splash white if I have to, and maybe something like Mana Leak that we can use so we don't fall too far behind. Also Cryptic Spires. I think I'm gonna go with the Bounce Land here. And this may make, it, make uh, splashing white a little bit easier. We also have Traveler Samulet. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully we'll one, two, three, four, Maybe even five. Don't really have any synergies there, but... Oof. Another Altisaur. Ambuscade. Agony Warp. We got some good cards here. We got some good court cards. I don't think we have enough to make Liliana's Elite good. So I think the pick is going to be somewhere else. <sighs> even Eel Umbra is kind of defensible. Um, we're doing medium good in terms of removal. We have Venser, we have Capture Sphere. So I kind of want to get the Altisaur here. Like, this card is very good. Um, yeah, hoping to wheel one of these two or the Spires. Punished. <laughs> Immediately punished. I'm probably not going to play three of these when I already have three other six drops. Man, I really wish I had found some, some, ramp, some ramp spells. Don't think this is the card that we're interested in enabling... Same here, same here. Just gonna take the Cryptic Spires. This is a sad pack for us. Obviously, I, there's the Ultisaur, but like now that I have two, I don't really want the third one. Like I, I think I was prioritizing this one, the second copy, okay, uh, well enough, but like the third copy may be too much. Uh, any ramp spells here? No, no ramp. Pontiff for the sideboard, maybe? We could have Vampire Sovereign. This is like a fine card. We already have one double black creature, but skin render is a lot better than this card. Um, and building this is gonna be <laughs> is gonna be a challenge, huh? Building this deck is gonna be very interesting. Um, don't care about this. Maybe I care about the Capture Sphere. Maybe I care about Grapple with the Past. I think I'm gonna take the Grapple here. It can help us buy back one of our top end cards. Uh, this... This pack has nothing, absolutely nothing. Second capture sphere and be very sad. This means we don't have to play the foil copy, we can just play a normal copy, because foils look awful on Moto. <laughs> uh, in previous Great Worm, it's, it's just not a good card. <laughs> it just, I mean, I could take it just for fun, but I'm probably not gonna play it. I, I, I could realistically cast this card, honestly. 10 mana for a 16, 16 indestructible, and your opponent could just chomp forever. I mean, am I, am I playing the second capture sphere? Probably not. So I can just take these for the memes, <laughs> just for content purposes. All right, another Ar Arachnus web is great with my Arachnus spinner. Really sad that we found this in this pack and not another one, because like there's a Forbidden Alchemy, which I would definitely pick. There's Aether Snap, which I would definitely pick. But Arachnus web is just so, so good with our Arachnus spinner that I'm, I'm very, very happy to have access to the second copy. Um, Thought Scour made it back, which doesn't really mean anything. I'm probably not even gonna play the first copy, honestly. Like, we don't really have any graveyard synergies going on. 
like grapple, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll just take Pirate Spillage. Eh, it doesn't matter. Like I'm, I'm probably not playing either one of those cards anyways. Um, really bad Cyber card. Okay. I, I mean, I, I could just take Deranged Assistant. Maybe I'll play this thing. Yeah, maybe I'll play it. Not taking my double cross. Ooh, did 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 ding. We have so much top end, it's crazy. Another Alwyny Warp is fantastic. Just making sure we don't die. Uh, maybe I'll even take this, honestly. Like, our top end is so strong. We can kind of afford to have some some bad cards. Um, I'm probably not going to play in the Verdict. Mana's just not going to be able to support it. Um, okay. This is not the worst. This is most definitely not the worst. We have some really, uh, yeah, this is what I was saying earlier. Like, yeah, just choose any two random things. Uh, any two random things, please, Moto. There we go. We can change those later. Um, so here my ulti source. Make this a little bit smaller so it fits. There we go. Um, I think I'm just gonna, this is 30 cards. This is 30 cards. So, don't really care about Thoughtscar. We can cut that one. Let's group creatures separately. Um, this is a land. We also have two bounce lands, so I'm looking to play 16 lands. Um, our three drop slot is very weak, but we can get rid of that. We can get rid of this. Probably get rid of this. We're mostly green. Probably gonna just got the skeleton archer. Um, this could be fine if. My opponent's playing a bunch of X1s, but skin renders very good. Our top end is very good. Very, very strong. So if we, if we make it to turn like eight, I'm gonna feel very, very comfortable with <laughs> with our game uh, or with our chances. Um, I have to cut one more card. We have some pretty good removal. Grapple. We just don't have too much ramp. We have Coiling Oracle and Elvis Rejuvenator. That's it. I guess the range assistant technically ramps us, but not really. I think I'm just going to cut the assistant. Our curve is not very good. We definitely have a lot of top end. So we're just going to want to play mirrors all day. Could cut the five drop here. Realistically, I should probably just cut a six drop. So maybe cut the symbiont. It's very good though. <laughs> it's very, very good. ETBs, your opponent discards, you draw. It's very strong. So I think I'm just gonna keep this. Oh, th we can also tap this for spinner. That's crazy. Cause this says tap and then tap spider. So this is this actually counts as a spider. That's hilarious. Also deadly reckless counts as a spider. Wow. <laughs> so we can, we, if we ever, whenever we find our spinner, we can just go off. Boom can go off. I think I'm just gonna cut the assistant. I just hope that things work out for me. Okay, so combine groups, and now we have the very problematic task of actually building this mana base, which seems like a nightmare. So we're gonna have room for six basics. We definitely wanna have access to one of each basic because of a uh, Traveler's Amulet. So we have blue-green here, and the way that we, I think that the way we're supposed to use these dual lands is you want to be, you want to have one of your main colors and then a splash color. So what we could do is we could do like blue, black, like green, black, green, black, blue, black, blue, black. That would be like four, five black sources plus one swamp. Then we can have... Yeah, right, so let's go change colors, blue, black, change colors, blue, black, green, black, and green, black. And then we have one, two, three, you have to add uh, 10 basics. So one of those basics is gonna be a swamp. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then four islands. And then we have one, two, three, seven, blue, eight, green, seven, blue, six, black. Eesh. <laughs> it's not, it's not great. It's not great. Let me tell you that much, but we have a traveler's amulet. 
we have we got traveler amulet we got um maybe that's one too many black no it's fine like we have skin render maybe honestly like i could see the possibility that we should just not be playing skin render because it just stretches our mana base too hard the problem is it's so good like skin render is just so good we also have like Venser to bounce it and get it back we have body double to copy it like we kind of have some synergies going on with skin render as well yeah so i guess we're just gonna mulligan aggressively towards making our mana function <laughs> that's gonna be the strategy um yeah all right sweet see you for the first round all right here we go round number one with sultai greed <laughs> this is this is the perfect hand oh my god that that is exactly how we drew it up exactly how we drew it up <laughs> I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna bottom the redundant recluse. Um, opponent kept seven. We're on the play though, which is nice. Probably gonna grapple Inquisition. Okay. It's actually pretty bad because like they can take our grapple and if I mean they're probably gonna take Rejuvenator. I guess it's just the best card in the pack. They do take the grapple. Okay. So they're really banking on me never finding land number three. Unless they have another Inquisition. Oh, that did not work out for them, did we? Did it. Uh, black, white, probably they don't have a, um, a haste creature, so I'm just gonna just gonna attack there, get our point, get our point of the mash. All right, time to rejuvenate some things over here. Uh, black, oh, that's my good cards. Uh, so let's do that, and we're gonna play another green land. There's no way my opponent attacks next. Turn. Just gonna get getting an attack there. They don't know about the agony warp, so that's potentially good. Just do nothing. Well, that's a funny card to draw there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're not gonna have a fight spell. So I can't really use agony warp to save this leech. So I think I'm just gonna go for broke. I think that they have the removal spell, the five mana removal spell, the three mana removal spell, sorry, but, and this untaps uh, green and blue creatures. So that's a free, we can still block. I know bond kin, okay. <sighs> How hot is that? How hot is that draw step? How hot is that draw step? Um. I think we attack, yeah. I guess we're gonna attack just with the Recluse. One is probably gonna, oh, they don't? Okay, so now we can Agony Warp. Minus three, minus so to this creature, minus zero, minus three to the other creature. And now this is like an absolute blowout, unless they have a trick, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> they just pack it, they're like, yep. <laughs> I did not, did not see that one coming. All right. Um, Sultai Greed, doing the thing. Uh, I kind of want Skeleton Archer, huh? I guess I'm gonna show me only one X one. Maybe that's not good enough for the Archer. Um, playing a creature deck, so we could bring in Verdict. That our mana is garbage as it is, so. <sighs> Brindle Shout is interesting. Just like a random one one. Nah. My opponent's not playing a fast deck. At least it doesn't look like it. Uh, sure. Let's keep this hand. We can render some skin. We can rejuvenate some Elvishes. <laughs> um, tap land. Okay. Unfortunately, that the, the one black source we found was our basic swamp, so we can't actually find our second black for skin render. Um, we could grapple, or we can just deadly wreck loose here. I'm just gonna wreck. Uh, they could have this figure and they kill the Reckless, but it just uses my mana better, sets up my defenses. Oh, that's scary. Um, it's kind of hard to beat. Um, so let's just remember, hopefully we find the Black Source here. This is going to die to Liliana, but if it does, unfortunate. Um, if they kill this, then they don't minus on this thing. We have five mana here. I'm going to need some some help here 
Now Liliana. Oh, girl. Uh, they're going to take the grapple, though. Yep. So we can ping Liliana for one. Okay, you can try to take creature, planeswalker. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Um, don't mind me. I'm just casually not attacking your Liliana, the last hope. Just don't mind me. I swear I have nothing up my sleeve. Absolutely nothing up my sleeve. Oh uh, no, Vampire Sovereign. Crack this. Uh, I'll get a basic island because it doesn't matter. Hey, that's nice. Um, we can actually get two. <laughs> you can get two of the enchantment. That's so sick. Oh no. Tap this. Search library. Arachnus web. We're dead. Please plus, please plus, please plus, please plus, please plus. <laughs> I can't say please plus any faster than that. Please plus, please plus. Oh, they plus, they plus, they plus, they plus. <laughs> Woo, baby! <laughs> How we drew it up! Hell yeah. This is this is why I like this format so much. <laughs> See you next round. Alright, what do we got here? Um, Bog Greed. Probably not gonna keep this one. <laughs> uh, I am definitely gonna keep this one. Whew, this hand is hot. Keep this. I think we're gonna bottom the symbiote because I think Sphinx is better. We are on the draw. Turn to Coiling Oracle, aka the Dream, aka the Dream. Basic Forest. Let's play our Blue Source first. We also have the Double Black for Skin Render. Imagine not being greedy, right? Just always be greedy. It can only work out. One, yeah. Depending on what my opponent does here, I may just grapple, like for nothing. Uh, swing for one. What's my opponent doing over there? Just taking damage, left and right. Or maybe they're just holding up mana leak. I'm gonna grapple here. Hit my land drop. Oof. Like that one, I guess. We're not gonna hit our land drop. <laughs> we're not gonna hit our land drop. Hey, there we go. Who said we're not gonna hit our land drop? Non-believers, non-believers, imagine not hitting my land drop there. Well, opponent, you, I mean, you need to do something, right? There's no thoughtsies in the format, so it's not like they can take the ceiling bar from my hand, like they just, so I guess if they have mana leak, they're gonna have to hold up mana leak for the remainder of the game. Okay, suspend Rift Bolt. Um, well, I'm gonna play this one. If they have instant speed removal, they can kill the Sphinx. Looks like they don't. I hope that they don't. It would be awesome to just like draw two here. Oh, they do. It's a lot of mana. What are you doing with all that mana, opponent? Prophetic Bolt. Okay. And it also doesn't draw a card. Bro. Maybe I should have laid on Dragon, Lord, Dragon Lord Silumgar. Steal that. Thria. Venser is nice. Venser is very nice. Oh, also this is 4-6 four, four, now. Sweet. 4 mana, what do you got, opponent? What do you got for 4 mana? What you gonna do? We only have 2 blue sources, so Venser is gonna be taxing my mana. So we can't Venser and Skin Render in the same turn. So it looks like opponent is playing 4 color control over there. Pirate's Pillage. Discarding Rakdos. Carnarium. Interesting. Huh. Why would discard the 2 for 1? Instead of just discarding a normal land, they could have just play the Carnarium and just bounce one of the other lands. They effectively missed out on drawing a card. Okay. So now I have to draw my own thing. Okay. So I think we're just going to Skin Render here. Skin Render plus Rejuvenator. That's dead. Rejuvenator. The land. So you go. One in five cards to our four cards. Our cards are pretty good. 
Our cards are pretty solid. We can also Venser plus Skin Render the same turn now, so we can actually get some value there. I can just bounce my own Skin Render, then replay it. So that's not bad. Opponent has some pretty pretty good value cards over there. Rift Bolt, Prophetic Bolt, Ground Assault. <clears throat> They're playing like a pretty solid four color control deck over there. Tap some mana, Guided Passage. Okay, it's pretty strong. Double Prophetic Bolt, Summer Bloom. Well, I'm gonna give them Summer Bloom. Uh, their creatures are very scary. Each instance is gonna give against 500 this turn. Okay, so we have to basically get something that we can kill. So we're not gonna give them, th this gives them value, this gives them value. So we're just gonna give them the dragon. Give them the dragon, give them a mountain, and give them Summer Bloom. Probably should have taken a picture of their deck. Definitely should have taken Seems pretty strong. Seems very strong, actually. Very strong. They have like a bunch of removal spells. And I still don't know a bunch of their cards in hand. Like, I don't know five of their cards in hand. Their mana seems okay. They have Pirate Spillage doing a lot of work there to fix their mana. It's gonna slam the dragon. Okay. I'm cool with that. So... I guess I swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine mana. So I think that's really scary. One, two, three, four. I think I don't want to mess around with that. If it doesn't attack, it doesn't do anything, right? So what is this? Either snipe. So they're gonna attempt to bounce their own dragon, but I can just I can just bounce my capture sphere. Just cast it again. We didn't know about that. Did not know about that. That was one of their cards, their cards in hand. Or Silver Basilica. Swing. I think we have to keep the pressure on. Have any warp. Black and blue. And now Basilica bounce here. One, two, three, four, five. We didn't see a sweeper. If they have a sweeper in their hand. I think that there's their damnation is the only sweeper they could have. I guess they could have the John sweeper, which just deals a bunch of damage. Um, but there's nothing we could do about that. Like we just lose. Well, it'd be nice to draw our own body double. Prophetic bolt. This is not lethal now. We only have six points of damage. We have a removal spell for the whatever, whatever they play, which is nice. And we didn't see any discard spells in their in their deck when we checked with the guided passage. Okay, it's a pretty good draw. Not a bad draw at all. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play that one. That sucks. <laughs> uh, I guess we're not gonna cast that. I mean, it is a six, five. That's no joke when my opponent is at three. Six, five reach trample. Opponent knows all my last card in hand, so. There's no secrets here. Then you would need one removal spell for the Altisar and one removal spell for the Changeling. Really unfortunate that the Altisar just whiffed there. Did not see mana leak from their deck. Cycling Sign of Darkness, jeez. Player's Graveyard onto the battlefield under control. Yeah, this seems like this is just gonna get cycled. I guess my opponent wants to like combo Cyan plus body double. I guess that's their, the combo they're trying to put together. I'm not sure if it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if that's particularly good thing to be doing, but that's something. Dax duplicate has been discarded. Interesting. Well, what are they hoping to draw? Like they could have gotten Dragon the Silengar there and steal my Altisar. Do they have anything better than that? I think they messed up. Oh no no no! They, this um, never mind. Yeah, Dax duplicate only copies something that I have in place. So yeah, they, they they it doesn't do anything. Never mind. I guess it could have. They could have gained five. That's probably better than the dragon, honestly. But they gain five, I answer it, and then, you know, we move on. So yeah, I guess it's it just doesn't do anything. All right, we got there. Our opponent's deck is very good though. Um, is this something I'm interested in doing? I think the game is gonna go long every single time though, so I'm not sure I wanna be doing this. Huh. I think we just submit the same, yeah. I think we're just gonna submit the same. All right, what do we got here? We got perfect mana. Okay, 
I'm gonna keep perfect mana. Mm, get the ETB tap land out of the way. Maybe I should have gotten rid of this figure. Like I any warp is fine, but this figure seems like a little bit just a little bit too weak. Yeah. Really wish I had found some rampant growths myself. Um play amulet. Pass the turn. Uh, next turn we get to Rejuvenator, which is nice. It's not bad. Opponent is definitely ahead though. Opponent is certainly ahead. Cold Steel Heart. Okay. For black. Interesting. So they're interested in double black. Get our forest. Here's Rejuvenator. We're gonna get, I guess, another green source. We already have double blue, so I'd rather just set up double green for Altisaur. Okay. One, yeah. Do I grapple my opponent's sense? Pro probably not. Those prophetic bolts are so scary. That's a lot of mana. Either snipe. Sure. I'm gonna bounce my deadly recluse. I think I'm okay with that. Just play it again. Then my bounce to go. Reckless actually does a good job at limiting what my opponent can do. I mean, at least the, the amount of pressure that they can put on me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, here goes nothing. Yes, I would like to draw two, please. Thank you. Pass the turn. Your go. Body double actually does not get the trigger from Altisaur, which is pretty sad. Now we're gonna start putting on some pressure though. Ground Assault, it's fine. We're gonna grapple that back. It's a 3-5. Hmm. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna play a 3-5 here. I mean, I don't really care about the life. Play Basilica. Take go. We're gonna grapple on instead and get back the Altisaur. It's a lot of mana. Also, I tapped, I just realized that I tapped like trash. Like I was so, you know, dead set on getting back the Altisaur that I, they revealed Prophetic Bolt. Uh, guess I'm gonna disfigure my own thing to fizzle them drawing a card. It's not like this figure's doing anything. <clears throat> we can still, um, we can still uh, Altisaur plus grapple here. Two, three, four, five. <clears throat> oh man. That's a spider. I mean, I'm gonna Altisaur anyway. Um, here goes nothing. Benser. <sighs> gonna Benser my opponent's lands, I guess? What am I gonna Benser? Oh, I can Benser my own Altisaur. Hell yeah. Woo! That's hot. That is hot. Don't mind if I do. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> That's so much fun. <laughs> that is so much fun. Yeah, I'll take six. You got me. I could double block, but there's just so many ways that this goes badly for me that I'd rather just block when I have, you know, Agony Warp and Capture Sphere available and stuff. That was sick. <laughs> oh, baby. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Child of Lara. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So I can leave up one mana of any, any color, of every color I mean. Something like this. Altisaur, Oracle, okay. Not the worst. Um, do I want to deep analysis? Probably not, because I'm gonna go to this card, so this is just fine. Pass the turn. I'm probably gonna trade Altisaur, I think. If my opponent offers a trade for the Child of Alara, I'm gonna take it, I think. So they probably have a removal spell for this thing. So let's block like this. We're gonna block like that. This just happens? Okay. Take one. Child dies, everything dies. Am I crazy for thinking that that benefits me instead of my opponent? I'm pretty sure that's good for me. Deep analysis. Dragon door. Interesting. So play Recluse. Play land, and I could body double. I guess body double gets spider. My opponent has terminates and stuff, so I think we're just gonna pass here. I'm not putting pressure on my opponent, but I think it's fine. Like we are holding up a removal spell. 
I think this is okay. Opponents at 19. Play land. I think this turn I'm gonna play the body double. And I guess we can copy one, two, three, four, five. We can copy Venser. We'll just copy the change lane to gain some life. Just gain some life. Make sure we don't randomly get raised. Like whatever I play is gonna get is gonna get killed, right? Because my opponent has like so many removal spells. So I just wanna, you know, get something that gives him value. I could have gotten Aether Snipe and then just balance my opponent's Carnarium or whatever. I don't think that's particularly good. I'm low-key scared of playing these things, because my opponent can like draw and then I'm in trouble. I think I'm just gonna eh, just play out the Sphinx, see if my opponent kills it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um one, two, three, four, five. Did I not tap enough blue? I did tap enough blue. Oh, I tapped one too many. I assume my opponent's gonna kill that. Oh, this is a May. I always forget that this is a May. Hey, I can actually. I'm probably not gonna do that again. We just got my nasty little two for one there. Maybe opponent has a removal spell. Oh, they could have their own body double, I guess. Dax duplicate. Okay, so I'm probably gonna double Agony Warp that. What is this? I don't think my opponent can attack here. Oh, they have Altisaur. It's a lot of mana, opponent. It is Alti. Oh, Sign of Darkness. Okay, so I'm just gonna steal that. I could also just like steal this. Now I'm gonna kill this because if my opponent draws cards, that's how they get back into the game. Blue, black, Agony Warp. Blue, black, we can just steal the sign of darkness. Um, could also just like tap it. How much damage is this? Four, five, that's 11. It's not enough, definitely not enough. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna capture sphere, the scion. Oh, what, what did I do? Why did it attack there? Whoops, opponent takes it, good. <laughs> good thing. Um, so I think I'm gonna, in render. No, I'm just gonna capture it. Uh, but this is the only thing. Like, if my opponent connects with this, I'm actually in trouble. So, I think we're just gonna one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just gonna uh, Silumgar here so that I have access to capture sphere. And I think I'm not gonna draw two. <clears throat> Didn't see any sweepers. Opponent only with three cards in hand. Prophetic bolt over there. That's fine. They need something else. Pirate Spillage, Pitching Summer Bloom, that's fine. Uh, we're not gonna draw, I'm not gonna draw. At this point, I'm, I'm legit afraid of decking. Like if my opponent has a sweeper, we may deck. If I draw two there, <clears throat> both double. So they're just gonna copy Venser. I think that we double Arachnus Web. This just, I guess Aether Snipe is just better Venser here. Um, I don't think anything they do matters. Dax duplicate, copying Silumgar. Just gonna steal my Silumgar, which steals their thing. And now mine dies. But they can't attack. I just like double Arachnus Web and they lose. So this is lethal. One, two, three. Web, yeah. I'm gonna play the Leech for value. All right, I think that means we get there. Boom. Dead, yeah. Woo! Let's go. Bog agree that continues to dominate. <laughs> Have yet to lose a game. Welcome to the last round of this very interesting story of friend continues to dodge <laughs> aggro decks. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep this hand and be a pretty heavy favorite to win. If I oh no, we're super dead now. <laughs> Opponent is playing an aggro deck. Oh no, we have no shot. No shot at all. There's a plane sacrifice deck, so all of my like capture spheres and arachnus webs, they don't do anything. And these don't uh these don't uh, keep these don't eliminate the abilities, they only eliminate uh, activated abilities. So if my opponent has one of the um what's the name of the little guy? Um the one that they sweep you. Can't remember the name. Ugh. Monohydrops. 
um, a blood artist. If they have a blood artist, Arachnus Web doesn't really do anything against it. Just don't disfigure me, opponent, please. My opponent did not listen to me. It's mean. It's very mean. Bounce land. Untap land. All right. Got what I asked for. We're going to grapple right now because I want to know what I draw. And I think I'm going to have to take the recluse here. Okay, so how do my, my next couple of drones look like? The island doesn't really do too much for me. I guess it guarantees that I find another land drop. But I think next turn I'm going to play Capture Sphere on the Seeker of the Way. We're going to take some more damage this turn, which is bad for me. I probably still have to take this basic island. Web Weaver, if, if, it, if this were guaranteed to draw a land, to gain five, I would probably take this. But as is, I think I'm going to try to set up my late game. And since I'm going to be playing removal spells for the next couple of turns, I'm going to, going to go with this. Oh uh, yeah, that's a problem. If they ever find an enabler. All right, black source, swamp. Basic swamp. Ooh, basic swamp. Um, so I guess I'm gonna Arachnus Web the Seeker. Maybe, I probably should have saved this for um, the other thing. Ugh, that's so brutal. Yeah, they're gonna give this pro green and this is gonna fall off. I'll also take a bunch of damage. Gross. Um, they also scry for value. Oof, Blood Artist getting in there, feeling it. Respect that. Most certainly respect that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Super punished. Wow, I could double spell here and I now I can't because I'm an idiot. Oh man, that's, ugh, that's so rough. So I guess I'm just gonna pass the turn and I'm gonna hope that I can capture Sphere, the Seeker of the Way. If they have another God's Willing, that's a problem, but Okay, only take one. But now I can double spell if I find a basic swamp, otherwise I'm just gonna play the symbiont. Symbiont. Uh, that can find a basic swamp and kill the blood artist. That's probably priority number one, right? Okay, swamp, play swamp, black, skin render, kill that. So now I go to six. Next turn we're gonna get to Altiso Altisaur. I may just play Symbion to make sure that I get value from this card in my opponent's card. And I feel like I would have... Sure. So we take four. We're dead. So I guess I need to find something that kills two things or gains life. So Body Double would be the best draw here. Or like Altisaur into Body Double. So I have two looks at Body Double. So that I can copy my... Uh, my changeling. One, two... Yeah, I, it needs to be Body Double. Um... Either Knight also does it. Um, yeah, so it needs to be Altisaur at this point. So, spin. Arachnus Web. Okay. We lose to a removal spell. Oh no, we're dead. Never mind, yeah. <laughs> we're actually just dead. Uh, but my opponent's gonna show me something. I'll, I'll take. Show me something. Okay. They should still swing everything. I so they show me double go to the feast. So opponents play black white. We don't really have any sweepers. Verdict is the only sweeper we have. Probably unlikely to make that work. Skeleton Archer does look very good, however. I like this figure. Probably don't need consecrated Sphinx. Um, Sphinx better than Symbiote. Probably. Don't think we care for spell peers. This is a 1-1. One, one. If this were a 1-2, I would probably side it in, but I said 1-1. One, one. Maybe this this matters, however. I think Arachnid Spinner is probably okay. I can probably cut the Capture Sphere. Let's go with this. On the play, um, this hand is hella slow, but I'm going to keep it anyway because I'm a greed monster. Um, we do have some late game here, though. I like that. One moves to 6. There's an item there for playing a different land because of Inquisition. I don't think I'm supposed to play around Inquisition there. Oh, that's so good. Calling our call into Swamp. Oof. Just going off over here. Just going off. Skin Render. Unlucky. Probably gonna find another island here. Could find another island or could find another forest. Pontiff. Sure. So that kills Coiling Oracle and allows my opponent an attack, but that's it. 
So I'll just take two, like this is pretty fine for me. Uh, another blue or another another green? Let's go another green. It's really hot. One, two, three, four. I need to render some skins. I think we're gonna serve. I wonder why they have Pontiff in their deck. Like it doesn't seem very good. In fact, it's kind of actively bad, right? For them to have Pontiff for three. Haunt something. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be gaining life from this. So I'm just gonna play it out. Mentor of the Meek. Well, we're still in that one. <clears throat> hey, that's pretty good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven here. I think we're gonna serve. Uh, yeah, that resolves. Okay. There's no one mana minus three minus three, so I don't know what that was all about. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's a dragon. I got the dragon. We better have the removal spare for this one, because this figure skin render resolves. <laughs> you have a removal spare for the dragon? No removal spare for dragon. No removal spare for dragon is good. Can I draw like a, the elf? If I draw the elf, that would be really hot. Also another deadly reckless would be nice. Just anything that triggers the mentor of the meek. I just want to draw a card of it. Just draw a card of <laughs> the aggro card from the control deck. Anything that triggers it. Yes! Woo! It's hot. It's hot. It's very hot. Oh man, that doesn't trigger. Probably still gonna play it. I think I'm attacking. I drew a card from this and I want to make sure that this is not gonna be in play if my opponent happens to find a removal spell for this. So my opponent... I, yeah, they, they're trading here. This is just great for me. Love this. Um, I'm gonna play Archer. Kill that. Pass the turn. And I'm only doing that because I already have a removal spare for the, for the Blood Artist. Yeah, there we go. But I can just kill this. It just doesn't matter. Let's see what we draw here. Seal cards in hand for OP. Very interested in killing this right now, by the way. Island is a bad draw, but I have deep analysis in my deck, so I'm gonna play it out. I'm gonna swim with the big boys. Keep the small boys back. So my opponent's just probably a little bit short on playables because they have like Wingsteed Rider and stuff. Um, I think this is fine. Opponent gets to drain me for one, but I think that's okay. Like that's not, they're not gonna be able to keep that up. So I think I have the upper hand here. Block. God's willing. Mm. So at this point, I think I'm far ahead enough that I can just use a removal spell here. Kill that, prevent them from... And like, sure, they gain a life, but then I have like all of these attackers, they are chum blocking. <laughs> and I was drawing a Consecrated Sphinx, nice. All right, game number three. This is for all the marvels. This is for all of the marvels. Not only a couple of them, but actually all of them. Can we get trophy number two? On the draw, I'm not sold about this creature, but I think it's fine. Give me a good draw deck. Bug Greed. I summon the. I summon the Greed. Hmm. Well, this hand has a bunch of things that I really like, and also a bunch of things that I don't. I'm gonna keep it though. We have this figure in the deck, so I'm gonna play Swamp first. We're gonna go to discard with this hand, by the way, because I definitely wanna play Growth Chamber on two, so I can Rejuvenate her on three. Really wanna. So my opponent's not flashing their straight up black white, otherwise, this would be uh this would probably have splash color so that's good to know we don't have to play around the third color blood artist okay that means that we don't have to discard which is kind of nice i'm probably gonna grapple here on end step just to take a look at what our options are and then we can rejuvenate on three so grapple here get back i guess the creature it's not a great creature but i have way more than enough mana Maybe we should have gotten a black source there, however. We're gonna find a black source here though. Told you. So now we can cast skin render. Next turn we can Vencer, which is nice. We can also deep analysis, which is also nice. The block. Mentor of the Meek. Okay. Take two. It's not half bad. It's not half bad. So I guess we're just gonna bore here. And just growth chamber bounce this. 
think it's fairly likely for my opponent to have God's Willing. So I'm probably not going to do anything here. Maybe they don't have God. So they're not triggering this. I'm just going to Agony Warp this thing now. Black, blue. They don't get to draw any cards of the Mentor. Going to have access to Venser. We have two blockers, which are nice. Cryptic Spires. <sighs> I think I'm going to Deep Analysis this turn. This is going to be my turn off. Brutal. Um, I could Deep Analysis again. I don't think I want. Play this tap and say go. So my opponent's going to get to draw some cards of the Mentor if they have the cards. But they don't really have good attacks. They, they can attack with the Rider, but that's it. I'm really interested in trying to trigger this thing, though. So hopefully my opponent wants to, you know, do some silly trades. I'd be into it. If they attack with Mentor, I'm probably gonna double block. Oh yeah, I love this. So I'm gonna take just the two blocks here. It's kind of exactly what we wanted to happen, which is great. And this is not a commit ability, it's a triggered ability, so we only get to draw one card here. It's still pretty good, however. One is going pretty wide out there. Um, play this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can take this turn to play the LTS of source. Cast this, ping that. Okay. We're playing defense here, like we're not out of the woods, but it's starting to look okay. Really want to dodge a removal spell this turn. I think we, if we manage to dodge a removal spell one turn, I think if we do get to untap, we're going to be looking pretty good. Three white mana. Monastery mentor. Well, that's hella scary. That's very, very scary. We may be able to work through this, though. We may be able to work through this. Well, this is good. My opponent just wasting wasting that here. This seems okay to me. So they're going to give pro green just to get an attack for three. Like, that's fine. I wonder if they're going to serve with the rest. But there's no way, though. So pro green is going to get one attack. Opponent did not draw a card of the monk, which is surprising. Okay. We're still not triggering this thing, which is pretty annoying, to be honest. <clears throat> they have to have this figure or something, right? That's the only th reason why you would not you would not draw a card there. I mean, I still think it's better to draw a card than to hold up this figure, but that's really good. That is so good. <laughs> that's, that's an insane top deck. Oh, black and level blue for Venser. So I think I want to kill the Mentor. And now we have the option of Arachnus Web. Or I think I'd rather just hold up Venser. A bonus had a lot of life though. Those Call to the Feast are adding up. It's a lot of mana. Settle beyond reality. If I bounce here, we take three. And I think this is fine. I'm just going to bounce my own Altisaur. Opponent gets a swing for three. We do lose to God's Willing, however. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Interesting. Oh, please attack with the Monk token. That's going to trigger my Changeling. Oh, yes. So they do have this member. This figure, sorry. Now we do have the thingy. So if I bin Skin Red, I can, draw, I can find Body Double, which seems good. Um, yeah, seems fine. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, so now we can trigger this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So I can go... Man, this is... This is so close. Because I really want to spend this turn to play the Wave Web Weaver Changeling. But if I... I guess I have to Arachnus Web this thing. The problem is if my opponent has God's Willing, this falls off. Like we're actually in some pretty big trouble. I guess we're only taking four, if that's the case, so it's not the end of the world. Two, three, four, yeah, this is gonna trigger. And uh, Arachnus Web, Rider. And I think I wanna swing with one of these. No, I actually don't. I think my life totally is under. It's under duress. Doom Traveler, that draws a card. It does draw a card. I guess anything that triggers the Wingsteed Rider will actually be somewhat of an issue. I have to deal with this, I think. So I'm gonna do that this coming turn. Yep, 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 yep. So the name Pro Green, 
they left a card on top, which is very scary. I don't think you have good attacks with that. This this does have a good attack though. So I'm probably gonna Silungar. Can't block. We're not gonna be able to Altisaur here. It's pretty good though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like I want a Silungar. The problem is if they have another God's Willing, I lose. So if I if I don't Silungar, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're just gonna drag on lower steel the mentor. Probably can't afford to flashback deep analysis. So as is, we're looking good. But if they have one removal spell for the Silungar, then we may be in trouble. This is a close game. Super close game. Super, super close game. If they attack with the Rider, I probably just block with the Changeling. But yeah, like Arachnus Spinner, Ar Arachnus Web, the, the Reach creature, everything is... Everything is green, so if my opponent has another God's Will, and that would be the third one, though. Not sure if my opponent can really play that many God's Willing. Are they lining up an attack here? There's no way they can attack. Well, I mean, I have to block that. That's another flyer. What is this? Another disfigure? Wow, really? They kept this figure on top? Well, I'm super surprised by that. All right, you got me, opponent. You certainly got me. I don't think that's super bad for me or anything, but... Okay. Top of the deck, what do you got for me? Top of the deck, what do you got for me? Coiling Oracle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can play either one of these, so I'm gonna Oracle first, see what we draw. Ooh, we actually get... Oh, we should have done this the other way around. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card then. Basilica. Liege. Okay. So here goes nothing. Here's a big spider. And we don't really have good attacks, so we're just gonna pass. We can play both of our Arachnus webs because we have both the Web Weaver and the Arachnus Spinner, which is nice. Cartel Aristocrat. Okay. So, them playing that main phase one is nice because now we can just pass. On my opponent's sense step, we're gonna try to do that. Search my library. And now we're gonna cover that. No. And tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Altisaur. Into this figure. Okay, I'll take it. Maybe we should have disfigured this and then moved the thing around. Who knows? Play that. This game is getting interesting. If I swing with Spider, with this Spider, Opponent can, I think I swing with Spider. Like we can still chomp with the, the other Spider if we want to. Here my opponent can block it if, you, if they want, but if they do, then I get rid of the biggest problem, which is the Wingsteed Rider. And now we have two blockers, so I, I, I only have to dodge removal spell for, for Silumgar. If I can dodge removal spell for Silumgar, I think we're gonna be fine. So now we get to do this. Swing with that and with that. I think we actually have to clock fairly quickly here. So I'm only gonna swing with the big ones. Okay. I think next turn we may flashback deep analysis. Seeker, okay. I think at this point, I'm feeling okay about my spot. This untapping my creatures is kind of very good right now. <laughs> this Altisaur and the Arachnus Spinner are just like chilling there. Body double. That's it, right? Um, I think that should be it. I think we're just gonna Venser the Wingsteed Rider. What other options do we got? Monastery Mentor doesn't really do anything. Skin Render can turn this into a 1-1, one, one, but I'd rather just like, eh, I guess it's just, no, but, but I don't draw a card. Oh, do I draw a card? Because maybe it's a 3-3. It's a three, three. So I guess like either way, it's gonna be a 3-3, three, three, so just gonna Venser. No, we don't draw a card. Unlucky. Boom! Trophy, baby! Sweet! Back-to-back -back trophies. I guess you didn't see the previous one, but you did see this one. My f Fair enough, my other trophy was... Trophy deck was very similar to this one. <laughs> just like super greedy bug pile. Um, yeah, just like mid-range value has been... has felt very strong in this format. It gets it gets raised by aggro decks, though. I've, I've you know, had some very strong band decks that I thought were very good, but then I just got raised super hard by... 
you know, like blue red prowess or like particular red white. I think the red white archetype is very strong. Uh, it just I have not seen it come together very often um, because the cards that it's looking for are so specific. Like you, you need your this thing or your monster swift spear and stuff. And like if if the table is just not passing those, then no, it's your deck's just not going to come together. Uh, the format has been a delight though. This has been like one of the most fun draft formats that I've ha that I've had I experienced since MH two. Um, MH two was like a very 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 good draft format, and every time it comes back to MTGO, I always make a video on it or something. But this one has felt fairly close fairly close uh, but you can like it, it first it feels a lot more multicolor heavy than mh2 did even though mh2 like really allows for some multicolor nonsense to happen this one really allows for that to happen like the fact that i think if i'm in the final I'm mistaken there's like one cryptic spires per pack so that means that there's like infinite cryptic spires running around which means that uh, finding fixing is fairly easy um and then you can play nonsense like this, you know, with like bounce land, so you can get away with playing uh, smaller land counts, which, which by the way, is something I didn't explain, but because the bounce lands are effectively card advantage, they are two lands on a single land, and we, we had that happen uh, a couple of times during this, this league. Um, you can, even though I'm playing like a pretty, you know, high mana curve deck, because I have like two, maybe like three bounce lands, you can still get away with playing... Uh, 16 lands instead of 17 if your mana requires if, if your mana requirements allow for that which mine did not by the way <laughs> this was super gritty it somehow worked out every time but like splashing skin render is is a stretch to be fair skin render, render was very good in this league because this card is just fantastic but um yeah uh, we definitely got away with murder in this one. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Leave me your comments down below to let me know that you're enjoying the limited content. And I'll see you in the next video, folks. Take care and bye-bye.